equal to okay. Um, but so now when we want to graph this, we're going to have to flip it over just to read it. Um, so it's clearer for us to know which way we want to graph this, right? So we're going to have x is less than or equal to 12. Okay, so again, we're going to start our number line. We're going to start at 12. We're going to add a couple numbers on both sides. And we have a less than or equal to sign. So that's going to be a closed circle, right guys? And then which direction are we going? Yep, to the left. Okay, so that means Carly can take out $25 for up to 12 weeks and still have $200 at the end. Um, if she goes beyond that, she's going to have less than $200, and then she wouldn't be happy, right? So we have one more word problem here, and then we're going to kind of move on to a semi-group activity. Um, so here it says the taxi company charges a $5 flat rate plus, $2, uh, plus 25 cents per mile. If Bill can't spend more than $15, how far can Bill travel? And then we're going to graph our solution, right? So um, based on our list of key words here, what is the word that we're using to find the symbol for this equation? No more than. Right, so no more than. What does that symbol mean? Uh, what symbol does that give us? Less. Yeah, less than or equal to. So it's less than or equal to $15 because that's how much money Bill has to spend on this cab ride. So we have an initial amount, right? That's our constant. What's our constant here? Um, and then we have a variable, right, with a, a coefficient out front. What's our coefficient in this case? Bill? Yep, 0.25x, and what symbol are we using in between these to get up to that 15? Plus. I meant in between the five and the plus. Oh, plus, I thought you guys were saying less, sorry. Okay, um, so now we're gonna solve this just like we solved all our other ones. So we're gonna subtract five from both sides, so 0.25x is less than or equal to 10. <clears throat> Do you guys like decimals more or fractions more? Decimals, is that because it's easier to plug into the calculator, right? <laughs> but let's remember, 0.25 is the same thing as one over four. Um, and sometimes that makes dividing a little bit easier because we're gonna just multiply by the reciprocal, right? So if we have one fourth out front and we wanna multiply by the reciprocal, we're gonna just multiply both sides by the reciprocal. That's a four, not a one fourth. So these cancel out, we're left with x is less than or equal to, what's 10 times 4? 40. So what does this 40 represent? Yeah, so Bill can travel up to 40 miles away. Um, that's pretty far for a cat for 15 bucks. Okay. Um, so just for our last activity, I want each of you to write your own word problem using an inequality. I'll give you a few minutes to do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trade with someone sitting next to you, and they're going to solve it, and then I'll collect that at the end. <coughs> It is. This is the exit slip. Um, so make sure you guys use at least one key term from our list of key terms. So that way when you trade with whoever you're going to trade with, they have a way of knowing, okay, what am I looking for here? Because most of these problems will always have one of these key terms in them, and that will be like your, the major signifier of what it is that you're looking for. And it doesn't have to be anything too complicated. Um, so you could think about, okay, maybe you're going to the store to buy apples and you only have so much money to buy apples. Um, or hmm? 
or you want to save a certain amount of money, how many weeks um, do you have to save money for to get up to a certain amount? Um, so then once you're done with this, you can trade with whoever it is, and then I'll collect them as you guys are finishing okay, So let's try to wrap this up in maybe two minutes. Is that enough time? Um, I didn't. You don't have an extra copy. Oh, I gave you one. I thought you, you meant... You gave uh, your lesson plan. I thought you meant a uh, copy in Spanish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I have it. Yeah, I have it. Just one more time. Well, that would have done me the slightest bit of good. <laughs> save time. If you guys could just write the, uh, the problem, I'll just collect that, and then you don't have to trade. Are we writing it out in numbers or just on the line? Yeah, just on the line. Just like a, a story. 